I'm importing Shanice. Oh my god, I'm, I've just imported Shanice as a texture. <laughs> we can have Shanice nails. <laughs> so guys, Inzoi is officially here, kind of. They've given us a free character demo of the game and you can play it too. It's available on Steam. I believe it's only available for like four days. So if you want it, you better get it now. And it's pretty big. I think it's about 20 gigabytes. So if you have a slow internet connection, you may want to download it now and get it out of the way because it may take a long time to download and it's free and I really wasn't expecting them to release this so I'm really excited today to create some characters. So this is our cute little intro. I actually saw a YouTube video about Inzoi and apparently it actually has a lot of like lore and storyline to it like there's a lot to it which is exciting. We have a message from HR manager Henry. Hello Henry. Welcome to AR company. I'm Henry from HR and we've got an attachment of our responsibilities. What is this? We must uncover life's true meaning through diverse experiences. Okay, with all due respect to the tutorial, I'm just going to jump straight into it. Oh my god, we've got to choose a name. Shall I try to create myself? This is really exciting. Oh my, on sim sat. What? <laughs> Oh dear. Oh wait, last last name is first, first name is last. Okay, that's really confusing. I was, okay, that's better. Create a soy. Actually first, I wanna check my settings. I'm gonna be brave and go for cinematic quality, which is the highest. Okay, I'm gonna make myself, am I an adult or a young adult? They've also got middle-aged and senior, which are actually different, which we don't have in The Sims, which is interesting. And they've also got kids, although the, the kids look a little bit weird. They kind of look like shrunken down adults. So it looks like they've got presets for different kinds of Zoys on here. This is so interesting. I'm so excited. It looks very realistic. Going in close, like you can literally see the pores of their face. It's very, very interesting. The Wicked Whims users are genuinely going to have a field day with this because like it genuinely <laughs> looks so realistic. And I just want to say, I'm just looking at like the preset people, like they all look completely different to each other. Like they genuinely genuinely look really diverse. That sounds so woke, but do you know what I mean? Like they genuinely, like each person looks like they're genuinely a completely different person. I kind of want to try and create me. If they got, is this like a drag and drop like The Sims? I thought The Sims like copyrighted this, but apparently not. You can literally, oh, okay. You can literally change anything. I kind of want to make something cursed. This is basic edit mode. What's the detailed edit mode? You can actually change it some more. Although it seems like you basically have to work with the presets. I think it's going to be really hard to create yourself, you know, because I can't, for example, change the nose preset on this character's face. So it's not like The Sims, I believe, where you can just give them like anything. With Inzoi, it seems like you've got to choose a face and you basically just have to like stick with the face that you choose, but you can just like drag things around. So that's really interesting. So I don't know how easy it's going to be to create myself because we have to go based on like the presets. Okay. Playing this is definitely make me realize I have no idea what I actually look like. Though you can edit like very, very tiny things in a lot of detail. Okay, maybe there is a lot of customization. And I've also noticed symmetry mode. If we turn this off, oh, you can actually change two different things differently, which is really interesting. For example, can I move this like eye up here and I can move this one? Like you can literally do it asymmetrically. That's actually really cool. Again, I do wish there were presets like this guy. If I'm trying to make myself, this model has like a bum chin, whereas I don't. And it seems like you can't change that unless you change the entire character model, which is just a little bit annoying, you know. Can I change my- I feel like I need to change the weight to make it- maybe I should not make it look like me. Well, these are the weight presets, it's very interesting. Can you change the booty? Oh, you can't- you, okay, that's definitely not big enough. <laughs> that's not big enough. Very interesting in terms of like the different customization options you can do. You can even do, okay, they've got body hair and it's on like a, a slider, which is very interesting. Make my body hair like blonde. Okay. This is definitely not me. <laughs> 
This is definitely not what I look like. Oh, eyelashes. It seems for could never. Let's look at hairs. Oh my god, custom. Regular, general. This is so interesting. One thing I would like to see is masculine and feminine filters potentially for hairstyles. Obviously, it should be open. Anybody can use anything, but it'd be nice to have the filters just to like be able to see. So anyway, these seem to be like the default base game hairs. I'm just gonna go through all of them, which I think look really interesting. Though I don't think there's enough. I hope we get some more, to be honest. I also hope that we get some more skin fades because I can't see any skin fades. Oh, there's one, kind of. I guess this is the closest we would get to my hair. So this one says custom. One thing that doesn't seem to exist, I would actually like to have some colour presets just to make it kind of easier. Oh no, has that changed my eyebrow? I don't want white eyebrows. <laughs> oh, thank God we can change it. There's even like a detailed ear editing, which is such a weird thing to say. You can literally like even change small parts of the ears in really specific ways. So is it starting to look more like me? <laughs> it's very hard. It's very, very hard indeed. Okay, now I'm actually starting to get the hang of it. Okay, this is actually really cool. This is probably like the best like video game character creator I think I've ever used. As I said, I still think it needs some work. Like I want to be able to get rid of that bum chin. Do you know what I mean? Also, there are not enough beards. So this is beard one, which I, I just don't really think looks that nice. We've got another one here and another one here. I guess I'll have to go with this one, but I, I don't really like it. I feel like we definitely, oh, I've changed my whole hair color. I definitely think that we need maybe some more. Also some more hairstyles for men because there's literally like barely anything right now. Also when you click on a new hairstyle, for example, it changes the color of the hair which is kind of annoying. I'd rather just have it change and like not the colour change along with it, if you know what I mean. Should we put on some red lipstick? Because you guys always accuse me of wearing lipstick, even though I don't wear lipstick, shut up. But you guys accuse me of it. So today we're making my lips very red, just like in real life. Though I've noticed the lipstick goes like, actually goes over the lips, which is weird. So does this kind of look like me? Maybe I need to make him like a proper adult, more middle-aged. <laughs> then he would look a little bit more like me. But I'm saying in the current delusion that I am still a young adult. So moving back onto body, I wanna see what you can change. So you can change, I see like the neck, which also affects some of the face, which is interesting. You can very slightly edit the shoulders. There's no like extremities in terms of what you can change, but you can change some things. Like, yeah, like if I look at, for example, the waist, you can't really move it that much. I don't know if it's because they're trying to deal with clipping issues with outfits or something but eventually I would like to see like greater customization because the body I feel like the body sliders they're not slidey enough I would like them to be a little bit better especially the booty like the stomach can come out huge oh my god this is like me and my IBS not anymore because I have a dietitian now and I'm working on it but he looks like he's chafing as well just like real life me okay we're gonna have a look at outfits that we can wear there's different outfit pre what's Clo and MD. These outfits were created by designers. Is this a fashion brand that's put their stuff? I don't think these outfits suit me personally. They do also have outfit presets and a really interesting thing is it looks like you can save them. So you can just save like a full body outfit that you can use again and again on different characters, which I think is really interesting. And I also, I wasn't too sure if you could layer. So I'm wearing a t-shirt right now. If you wear something on top, does it layer? layer it. I don't know. I don't think it does. Oh no, it does. Oh wait. And then we got outerwear. Okay. So it does layer. That's interesting. Your clothes literally layer. This is all very interesting. And oh, you can do like AI generated texture, but only on some of them, or it comes with different color presets and you've got like main color, sub color where you can like change it. This is very intricate indeed. You can also have my texture where you import them. Shall I just import a random picture? What if I take it? one of my Sims for screenshots. I'm importing Shanice. Oh my god, I'm, I've just imported Shanice as a texture. <laughs> Shanice! <laughs> Shanice is a texture of my t- 
t-shirt. What is Shanice doing here? With all due respect though, like I could take a picture of this t-shirt and maybe attempt to put it in the game, for example. I mean, shall I do that? Shall I do that right now? Take a picture. Okay, I've just taken a picture and like uploaded it on my PC. What will happen if I put it, okay. <laughs> <laughs> looks a little bit cursed. Oh, you can change the pattern scale so I can make it cover the whole thing. No, there we go. <gasps> no, guys, it literally looks like my t-shirt. Obviously, if I did this like in real life, I would probably like this is literally just me doing it very quickly. If I was doing it differently, like obviously, you know, I would probably make a little bit more effort. But if you just want to quickly like I just took I literally did that in 10 seconds. I took my top off, took a picture and now we've got literally the t-shirt in the game. That's actually really cool. What trousers am I wearing? Okay, I want to copy like literally everything I'm wearing right now. We need some jeans. Okay, I definitely think the trouser category needs changing up because we've only got pants and shorts. This is pants is a very like, you know, their leggings, for example, are a completely different thing to these baggy trousers, which are also different to like jeans. Like I, I feel like they need to be changing this up. Also the jeans, oh, not the skinny jeans, no. I'm not that millennial. So these are kind of like the jeans I'm wearing, but though I can't change the color, you can only change the color of certain things. I'm assuming that's just because it's in like early access so you can't like change everything maybe a little bit lighter on these jeans because i want to genuinely make it like me right now what am i wearing socks i am i'm wearing camo print socks although they don't have camo print socks in this game that's fine we just go black i kind of want to use the ai to see if it can create camo print socks you guys are going to cancel me for using ai it is what it is so let's see we've got a results and then we can save that in and it's given us okay this isn't really what I was expecting. Do you guys want to... No, I'm not showing you my feet because you're going to put me on foot finder. This pretty... Okay, that wasn't the result I expected. Shoes. I'm not wearing any shoes. I give myself some trainers. I mean, sneakers. There we go. To be fair, this looks like something I'm genuinely wearing. You guys know like I got fat. This genuinely looks like me right now. <laughs> this looks like me because I got fat. And it looks like me with my IBS belly. It actually... Okay, it doesn't look like me. Like we can all establish that. But I feel like it looks really close this is really realistic they've also got sets as well i'm assuming this is just like feminine outfits for now though i do think it's cool that you can layer any kind of outerwear on top i genuinely wasn't expecting that i think it's really genius also it seems like you only have one outfit should i shall i save this preset i definitely think there are also going to be some copyright issues if people upload brand logos for example onto inzo i don't know how they're going to go about that that. But this is genuinely really impressed me. There's an option here called customize outfit. What does that mean? Oh, oh, we're not, we're not done. <laughs> we're not done. I can actually change the leg. What? So if I go back, wait, what did that actually change? I don't think that changed anything actually. Was that an error? I wanted to, it's literally letting me change like the hem, for example, of my clothes. And then we can change like the crop, for example, if it's like tucked in or not. Okay. But then if I do that, it doesn't change my outfit here. So so I don't, oh no, it does, it does change. I don't, I'm confused, but then it's changed to a white t-shirt. Maybe I'm doing this wrong. I don't understand that bit to be honest, but it looks like you can change certain aspects of an outfit, but I don't understand how it works right now. Accessories, let's get going. Okay, we can have hats. I guess it just gets rid of the hair itself. That's interesting though, that you can apply a lot of different hats. We've got different sunglasses. Oh, that's really cool. We got some necklaces. I'm not wearing a chain right now but normally I would so we can pop that on there or like a pearl one that's more like me I really hope that we can get custom content in this game I don't actually know if they're gonna support custom content you know I genuinely don't know I haven't looked into it I hope that they do oh I can give myself pussy ears isn't that cute and some headphones okay or and a tiara apparently the nail customization in this game is like really top notch and it looks like they have got loads of different patterns actually Obviously, I don't wear fake nails, but just so we can have a look at the different ones. And it looks like you can change the colours as well, which is interesting. And change the texture. Oh, no. we can have Shanice. We can have Shanice nails. 
<laughs> oh my god, this is so cursed. So what do you guys think of the way that he looks? What I would like to do now is select my trait. So something really interesting about Inzoi compared to The Sims is that you don't choose like multiple traits. You basically have like one main trait category, which is like a variety of different trait characteristics, which I think is a really good idea actually, because it means that you send your character down like one specific path. And it seems like they all have like positives and negatives, which is really good. Maybe I should be artistic. So enjoys artistic and creative activities, frequently feels sad. Sentimental feelings last for a longer time, avoids conversation. Oh, that's not like me actually. What about entertainer? Always on the move, frequently feels amused. Focus feeling lasts for a shorter time. Social gauge decreases quickly, enjoys conversation. That's not like me either. Okay, I'm just gonna stay with artistic. Introverted, innovative, sensitive, creative, romantic, competent. And if I change to female and back to male, will it keep me as I was before? Yeah, it does. And I can see what I look like as an old man. Isn't that cute? Or as a child? Oh gosh. <laughs> and uh, oh. I just change it all up and my t-shirt's changed now. I think this customize outfit thing is a little bit buggy because I don't like, I don't know what I've done, but I've changed something to my character anyway. Oh my God, facial capture. Oh my God, no guys, we're installing an app and I'm capturing my face. We're not capturing my face because this is an Apple only app and I have an Android, yes. I'm one of those people that only has an Android. Oh, it says iOS only. Gosh, I need an iPhone, don't I? Okay, that was my bad. I have to wait until my niece is back from France so I can use her iPhone but for now this is actually really really cool and it feels like there's a good amount of customization obviously this is just the early access but still oh my god we're not done no we're not done <gasps> there's a studio I can put myself in a bedroom this actually looks a little bit like creepy <laughs> Looks like a horror movie setup. Okay, oh my God, I can put myself in clouds. Oh my God, I look so gay. What about this? Oh my God, we can put ourselves in like a, a dirty street. Okay, what's this one? I'm assuming in the future as well, you're gonna be able to import your own backgrounds or something. I'm sure hoping so, because that would be really cool. We can do different expressions. So this is like a whole camera mode. That's really cool that they've got this camera mode actually. We definitely need more expressions and things because this is not it but for now oh my god this is, we've got poses this honestly like the simmers who love like poses you know like there's a part of the sims community that like uploads stuff on tumblr like these kinds of players are gonna love this i'm telling you right now because this is really really cool we can change the light or we can change the positioning of the actual lighting to give it like a lot more depth okay that's interesting we can even change the color of the light to kind of like any light background color we want which is really cool the back backlight position. This is really in-depth. I was not expecting this. A fill light. I don't know what a fill light is. This is genuinely insane. I love it. I genuinely love it. And then we go into photo mode. We can actually take a photo of our character. It says portrait and landscape mode, but they're both square, which I don't quite understand. You can change the FOV, which is really, really cool. You can change the depth of field. Oh, so you can blur the background if you wanted to. You can remove the background which will make it a lot easier for screenshots and things, which is really cool. There's also different filters. Okay, so we've got cartoony black and white, sunset filter, pixel eyes. Okay, I would say they definitely need some work with the filters. Oh dear, for shy lens. They definitely need some work. Like I think they could do better with filters, but I think the concept of having the filters is really cool. And then we can save the picture like this. Okay, that's really interesting, although... If I'm, I don't know if I'm being dumb, but there doesn't seem to be a difference between landscape and portrait mode other than like the zoom. Oh, you can change the aspect ratio. I'm being stupid. There we go. Now we can take a nice screenshot for the YouTube thumbnail. Now I believe you can also upload them onto Canvas, which is their version of The Sims 4 Gallery. Take a stunning photo to be uploaded to Canvas. Oh, okay. This is my, this is my, oh no. I don't want to use that as my Canvas. That's that's my YouTube thumbnail. I don't want that as my canvas thumbnail. Okay, we've got to take a new picture for our canvas thumbnail. Oh, how exciting. Yeah, I do hope that we get more like
like backgrounds in the future because yeah I just feel like we need some more but this is fine for now I guess so can I upload it now to canvas I use this picture I took oh my god this is so exciting satch on sims content enter the content here I'm just gonna write satch on sims I don't, I don't really know you know it is what it is enter a hashtag oh my god hashtag satch on sims <laughs> Enter the nickname of the contributor. Am I allowed to add myself? I don't think so. Okay, I don't think we can, but whatever. Oh, and you can choose if you want to upload the face or like you could choose if you want just to upload the outfit instead of like the whole character, which is really cool. This is really exciting. Oh my God, I've uploaded myself to Canvas. <gasps> this is so exciting. Oh my God, Henry sent me a message. <laughs> Thank you very much, Henry. Okay, so I think Inzoi looks really, really cool just from playing the the create character mode and I'm excited to see where we can go going forward. I think I'm going to upload another video soon doing a female character. And just to let you know, if you do plan on buying any games, make sure you check out Instant Gaming because you can get a huge discount on the majority of games and I will put the link in the description. Thank you so much for watching guys. This was really fun. I will see you in the next video.